welcome to HEC Montreal, my university for this upcoming two years in order to complete my Master of Science. Right now, for those who ask, I'm studying Sustainability Management, which is taught in French. HEC provides many programs, either in French or in English. This is the building of this cell, which is one of the two campuses that we have here at HEC Montreal. HEC this cell is one of the oldest buildings of the school. This old concrete building celebrates its 50th anniversary. By the way, there is a third building in the making, which will open next September in the city center. As soon as you will enter the school, you will be greeted with alumni names on the floor. I found this building cozier and less crowded than the Côte Saint Catherine one. At HSC Montreal, most of the classrooms actually have the name of the company that kind of sponsored the school. You can find Canadian and world companies. Otherwise, some classrooms are named after famous cities located in Quebec province. Classrooms are well equipped with many electronics and chairs are of great quality, which is amazing, especially if you suffer from back pain. In master, we are in smaller classes with around 30 students in order to enhance debate or discussions. There are many classrooms like that that you can rent out in order to study with your group and so on. Indeed, you will have many group works, presentations, submissions, exams. You'll see that the master are quite demanding at HSC Montreal. You have to do so many reading before the class. They usually say three hours of class is equal to six hours of personal work. It is more or less true, depending on the lecture. But don't get me wrong, I've been studying a lot. I have to do a lot of time management as I work on the side with my student job around two full days. All the information you will need as a student is centralized on this webpage. You will have everything related to paperwork on HSA Online. Regarding the study materials, they are gathered on Zoom Cool. If you have any question, you can still turn to the Zoom of full via mail or you can meet them in person in the Dessel building. It is also with them that you can reserve a locker, which is quite useful in winter, especially if you live far away from school. Now, let me take you to our second building, HC Côte Sainte Catherine. Inside the school, you will have many stores where you can find like everything regarding studying. It's here where you can buy school books, school goodies, certified calculators, and so on. Be careful with that because otherwise you might not be able to use your calculator during an exam if it's not certified by the school. Coop is also in charge of the food and beverage service of the school. I personally almost never buy food from it because it is quite expensive. I prefer to prepare my sandwiches or snacks at home. The Côte Saint Catherine building is really bright and pleasant to walk around thanks to all the windows it has. The school is open quite late at night, usually from 8 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. In fact, many classes are taught at night to enable full-time workers to attend. This applies mainly to the master's programs. In Côte Saint Catherine, you will have the library and access to printers, computers, and so on. I personally don't study in libraries as I'm more efficient at home, but this is quite personal. Nevertheless, I have to admit that the view of the building is amazing. It's a forest, and when you stare long enough, you might see animals such as squirrels, greyhounds. You might not know, but HSC Montreal belongs to l'UDEM, Université de Montréal. This is why you can have certain classes at UDEM. We share other services such as UDEM Clinic, where you have special student discounts for basic medical care, like a general doctor, physiotherapist, psychologist, gynecologist, and many more. Nonetheless, it is quite tricky to get an appointment there. You can also access the SEPSUM on the opposite side of the road. It's our sports complex. As students from the uni, we already have an account that includes free access to it. The gym is not included though. You'll have to pay an extra fee. But the jacuzzi, cold tubes and sauna are. This is amazing after a good session. You can play various sports and take classes that come with an additional fee. I'm more of a swimmer, but I also like to play badminton with my friends. Be aware that for certain activities, you will have to boost your slot. Ooh, finish the session. Okay, so I was exploring the Sepsum and I ended up here on the football field and I was like, wow! <laughs> Feeling just like in like the States or somewhere, you know, <laughs> because it's huge. 
One of the uni activities is to support our team, the Carabines. It's game day, let's go! Woo! I just came for the fun and the experience because I'm a bit ashamed to admit that I don't know the rules, but it was really worth it. It is a true show with their cheerleaders team, but also the music bands, a true American experience. We could also buy beers during the match. The ticket cost us $25 per person. We won! <laughs> Students Association and their committee organize many activities such as talents and fashion shows, a bazaar where it is the opportunity for all HSC students to do shopping at a very low price. Parties are also organized like a ball after works called 5 à 9 or 5 to 9. On a more professional note, networking events are organized. HSC has its own TEDx too. It's an event with the overall mission to research and discover ideas worth spreading. TEDx show, we are ready! <laughs> the ticket costs $40 for the whole day and includes food. I love TEDx show. It is so inspiring and motivating. Who knows, maybe one day I'll be on the TEDx stage. <laughs> It is good to dream. After completing a full year at HSC Montreal, it is time for me to give you my feedback about the school. Well, I was looking for a master in sustainability and management and HSC Montreal was offering such program. Also, I really enjoy the fact that it's a recognized and worldwide known school. Also, thanks to an agreement between the French government and the Québécois government, I'm able to attend to the school by paying a fee of the Québécois price, which is $6,600. It's a great value for money regarding like other schools I've been looking for that were earning way more money. <laughs> and also because here the teachers are passionate, knowledgeable about their topic and the classes are in general really interesting. Regarding their workload, it is quite intense and master and quite demanding. Like, but still, you're able to work two full days on a side, which is more or less 20 hours, depending on what is written on your study permit. That's amazing because you can have like on field experience and all at the same time put some money aside to pay to maybe cover your daily expenses, such as the rent, certain activities, and also the grocery shopping. Because I discovered that Canada is quite expensive. In overall, I found it quite tricky to really connect with other students because in my program, it's really flexible. You decide of your own timetable and you create everything. And so that's mean you don't really know with who you will end up in the classroom. So it's kind of hard to really connect and people keep on coming and going. And like, you know, sustainability is such a wide topic. Uh, the program is open to any age, any background, any industry. So really, it creates a lot of diversity, which is enjoyable, but a bit hard to connect. <laughs> um, otherwise, that's why I rely mostly on my flatmates to create this kind of family away from home. And so far, I'm in overall really happy with the master, learning new skills and discovering also what Canada has to offer me. So yeah, come and join us at Ashton Montreal. <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> If you have any other question you would like to ask me about the school, please feel free to comment below and I will be more than happy to help you out. Anyway, explore the surroundings, 